All it took was 12 nasty sentences. It's absolutely disgusting, you have no identity. For this horrible X Factor judge to lose her entire career permanently. But with evidence suggesting it was deliberately planned by producers, there are layers to this story you likely haven't ever heard. The scandal involved two X Factor judges, Natalia Kills and her husband Willie Moon, both of whom were already hated before the viral episode. For example, four months before losing everything, they'd promote X Factor on the red carpet with the most arrogant interview ever. It's gonna be a very exciting journey. No, I'm kidding. Um, turning the audience against them before the season even started. It's funny because neither of them are the nice one. I get the creepiest vibes off these two. They're like cartoon characters that are purposefully written to be hated, which it seemed they were almost pleased with. For example, Natalia seemed proud to have tried burning her ex's house down. I just thought it seemed like a good idea to try and set fire to the house after an argument with my boyfriend. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that kind of crazy. While her her husband's interviews might have been even worse. When was that released? Just a couple of months ago. Um, in, I'm not really sure. Oh, really? Yeah. That's all out of your hand. I really don't know anything what's going on. I'm here at you know, I've been forced here. They should have never been chosen as X Factor judges, but it turns out they'd last only one single episode. The broadcast started with a pretty dark foreshadow. Well, you know I like a bit of trouble. Yeah, we are live, Natalia. I'll just remind you that we are live. You, you two are going to be troubled. But despite claiming that she liked a bit of trouble, Natalia was fairly gracious toward the other contestants. You are fantastic. That would be until Joe Irvine took the stage, with his performance igniting the darker side of Natalia's personality. Ladies and gentlemen, I am just gonna state the obvious, we have a doppelganger in our midst. Despite Joe performing in basic formal attire, Natalia made the claim that he'd copied her husband's style. I am disgusted at how much you have copied my husband. From the hair to the suit, do you not have any value or respect for originality? To which Joe responded by paying her a compliment. Thank, Thank you, me. Natalia. You're beautiful. Natalia responded to this by insulting Joe again. It's absolutely disgusting. You have no identity. I can't stand it. I'm ashamed to be here. Which is followed by more insults from her husband, who likened Joe to a serial killer. I feel like you're gonna stitch someone's skin to your face and then kill everybody in the audience. Despite Joe standing up for himself, Natalia tore him down again. I think I look really good. And I think you I look good care. because you're dressed as my husband. Being opposite to the advice that she'd offered in a previous interview. What piece of advice would you give to sort of young aspiring musicians? Do whatever you feel like, because that's what's honest. During this same video, she displayed her love for the internet, although as a result of her X Factor episode, it seemed this opinion was about to change rapidly. Natalia's embarrassing blob was instantly uploaded to YouTube, where it gained 4.5 million views in under 48 hours, and as you might expect, some pretty funny comments. She said he copied her husband, but she copied Lord Farquaad. Dressed like her husband? Did her husband invent suits? She must have been so pissed when Justin Timberlake released Suit and Tie, while a different YouTuber named Christopher Wayne made his own interesting discovery. Willie Moon isn't so original himself. Showing that Willie Moon's song What I Want used the same chords and even lyrics as a Spinal Tap song from the 80s. Lauren Mulcahy then showed an even worse example, showing that Willie Moon's Yeah Yeah music video had shamelessly copied an Italian video from the 1970s. So instead of just copying the concept, he actually copied the music and filming style all the way to the camera angles. Wow. Viewers were even more brutal on Willie's music videos, as they'd state, you copied the name of the moon. Don't you have any respect of originality? Which was extra funny given the couple was still fairly unknown themselves. Who is she? Who, who are you, Natalia Kills? However, as highlighted by a different comment reading, I saw this all over my FB page and thought to check it out. The story was spreading rapidly. Now to an X Factor scandal that's making headlines around the world. But as the incident began to threaten Natalia's life, the judge that sat beside her would try to calm the backlash. He'd state, I'm completely against bullying, but fighting fire with fire ain't the way. Although while Stan Walker chose to stay professional, the four 
fourth judge, Melanie Blatt, wasn't quite so gracious. She'd tweet, I've tried to keep my cool and stay professional, but really Natalia kills? Sorry love, you're a twat. Mel then added this during a morning radio interview. I think she should apologize to Joe. I just think Joe deserves an apology. I don't think it was fair what they said to him. While even Simon Cow would give his own opinion. It was hateful, she sounded mad, it didn't even make sense. Natalia finally responded four days later, writing at last, I'm relieved that I'm finally able to break the silence before telling her side of the story. The show brought me on to bring my passion, dramatic expression and perspective. I was encouraged to be outspoken and things got out of hand. Joe, I hope you can forgive me and I wish you all the best. Be natural, unconventional and be you, which is followed by a similar explanation from her husband. The show encourages judges to be forthright and highly opinionated. It went too far and I never intended to single anyone out. I wish the contestants, crew and particularly Joe all the best, although this didn't fix anything. Ha ha ha, now you say something but your career is over. Oh wait, it never started. A career which was getting started was ironically Joe Irvine's, as his previous X Factor audition gained hundreds of thousands of views. He'd be tweeted by Ed Sheeran who wrote, Don't worry about what anyone else says, man. Enjoy yourself with it, that's what singing is about, not what other people think, while Lord sent Joe a handwritten card with cupcakes. Meanwhile, for Natalia and her husband, viewers filed complaints with official governing bodies, while a petition titled Take Natalia Kills Off X Factor gained 70,000 supporters which would be labelled as a victory. Because the couple was fired before their second episode, with the show's chief executive stating, while the judges on X Factor are expected to provide critiques of the performances, we will not tolerate such destructive tirades from any of the judges. We no longer have confidence that Kills and Moon are the right people to perform the role of X Factor judges, and they will leave the show effective immediately. Natalia was then also fired from her record label, with UK X Factor judge Louis Walsh stating, she'll never work again I reckon. Honestly, I mean who's gonna hire her? Nobody. As a result, they chose to leave the country, solidifying the couple had lost absolutely everything. But was the whole thing even real? When we talked about Natalia's apology, we ignored one specific sentence. A lot goes on behind the scenes of a reality show, and what you see isn't always the whole story. Willie had made a similar claim writing, the reality of reality TV is that there's a lot the viewer doesn't see, and whilst they were both leaving the country, Natalia stated this. There are many sides to the story, and I am not about to get an entire industry in trouble that has been going on for years and years. Were they trying to avoid accountability, or had the stunt been planned by X Factor? The performance itself was certainly a bit suspicious. In a video taken by an audience member, Natalia looks toward her husband as if they were already both on board with the judgement that they'd give. It was also a little too convenient that in the 1 hour 55 minute episode, Joe just so happened to be the show's last performance, as if he was put there deliberately so they could end the show with a bang. Their comments were also in contrast to Joe's original tryout, where the couple offered love, positivity and encouragement, while we could also observe his natural dress style to be the opposite of Natalia's husband. So why the sudden change to formal? In a video titled The Truth About Natalia Kills, Justin Matters reached out to a former X Factor producer who explained, We purposely instructed one of the stylists to make Joe look very similar to her husband, in hopes to get a reaction out of Willie, not Teddy herself. If the show was truly trying to achieve a block by Willie, this would make Natalia's independent reaction real, yet maybe she knew exactly what was planned, as she maintained it was a publicity stunt resulting in a viral media storm. Yet to throw another curveball, Natalia also stated this. I feel like everyone needs to put the idea of it being a manufactured conspiracy theory behind them. There's really nothing to it. She might have rather been dismissing this conspiracy instead. The judges wanted out, so they behaved like this to deliberately kick, get kicked off the show. Yeah. As a recent Instagram post still implies her episode was somewhat staged. She'd write, so who thinks TV talent shows are rigged? Just curious, totally not related to any personal experiences at all. Certainly not trying to suggest anything. What, who, me, I would never. Lose a tooth in the comments, insults, opinions and incorrectness only thanks, seemingly writing this 
last sentence as she knew it was coming anyway. Despite a full nine years passing since Natalia's infamous moment, her comments are still filled with nothing but savage criticism. For example, she'd recently announced that her house had been burnt down by a fire, which received no sympathy but rather comments such as, damn, karma is out here doing the job, even years later. Oh dear, your poor husband suits. Oh well, you reap what you sow, dear. Oh no, how tragic, very tragic. Karma definitely got ya. 